Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton, and we are in Income today, just south of Pocatello. We are about to surprise a school custodian named Yuko. Her husband passed away less than two years ago. He was bedridden, and Yuko learned to drive to take care of him. Let me read you a little bit more about her. She came here from Japan, a country that she longs to see again and is still learning English. After her husband's death, Yuko was left with nine children, including two teenage daughters still at home. Yuko serves as a custodian at Income Elementary, where she gives everything she has and takes nothing in return. Showing up to work and giving 100% every day is how Yuko is. She climbs under, over, and around just to wipe a table leg or pick up a piece of, piece of trash off the ground. Her body is in constant motion as she smiles down the halls, dusting art as she goes. Doing what may seem like a tiresome job, she makes it look effortless. Outside of work, Yuko volunteers her time teaching children about origami. After work, Yuko helps teachers lengthen legs on desks or rearrange classrooms simply because she gives everything she can. Giving $5 to teachers for their birthdays brings tears to their eyes because they know that it is her giving. Giving to others is Yuko's legacy. When picking fruit from someone's yard or garden, she always shares a bag with another who's in need. She's learned to say hello to a student in sign language and always thanks you every time she finishes cleaning a classroom. She brightens everyone's day, is a big ray of sunshine, and is it is time that we step in and maybe give her something back. So, Secret Santa wants to give her something back. We have three gifts for Yuko today. Inside this box, there's a thousand dollar check Inside this box, there's a $10,000 check, and inside this box is the key to this car. So we're here at the school, and they're going to have a fire drill to get everybody out here, including y Yuko, and once she's out here, we'll give her the gifts. Hey, I need everyone's attention. So we have something very special going on today, and it's a surprise for just about everybody. Uh, Mrs. Shelton, would you come up here, please? How are you, Mrs. Shelton? Hi, everybody I'm Nate with East Idaho News. How's your day going? Uh, it is great, thank you. It's going great. A little cold here today. It is, isn't it? It's cold here every day though, I hear. So <laughs> we have come from Idaho Falls with a gift from a secret Santa for you. Uh, he wanted us to bring you some presents today. We know that Christmas is still a few weeks away, but we wanted to bring these to you. And would you guys like to see her open these? So are you ready to start your Christmas early? Um, uh, yes. <laughs> okay, here's present number one. Uh, could you tell thank you for whoever, could you tell thank you for whoever provided for this for us? Absolutely. Well, he might be watching right there. Oh, thank you so much for, for this present. Yeah. Appreciate it. Let's see what's in the box. It's a thousand dollar check. Thousand dollars. And here's box number two. Do you see it? Yes. The, the, this one is a check for ten thousand dollars. And we have one more gift for you. Are you ready? Thank you. Have you caught your breath? <laughs> I, I'm speechless. I'm very, very appreciative for whoever doing this one. Do you know what that is? And that's a key. That's a car key. Secret Santa bought you a car. It's right over there. You want to come and see it? Yeah, let's go see it. 
We heard that you might need a car. I am very appreciative, boy. Well, come and hop in. Do you know how to work that key? Uh, no. <laughs> so you just push this button and it goes up. Thank that you. locks it, unlocks it, and that opens the back. Okay, I need to know how to do it. <laughs> okay, well hop on in there. Do you know how you know how to drive though, right? Yes, but I I prefer not because I might be too bored. You're too, ner you're too nervous? Well, yeah. you can just sit in there and start it if you want. You don't have to drive no, it. That's okay. What do you think? I'm very, very appreciated because we needed a car. Yeah. And I'm very appreciated for I'm thankful for my husband of medical death. This helped us a lot. Your, your husband passed away recently, didn't he? Um, about a year and a half ago. And he just left for some medical debt, so I tried to pay off. But this money will really help us a lot. Oh, good. Great news! You alright? <laughs> so, what you do, push that, and then just put it in here, and then it starts. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate it. You deserve it. Uh, You're amazing. I'm not. Awesome. Whoever provided is amazing. No, you There's you not a amazing. more deserving person than you. Oh, yep. uh, no. Yes, you go. Yes. yes. But he's a one. <laughs> Always he's You're a one. You're amazing, you go. No, I'm not doing nothing. He's the one to provide. He's upset. So you just put it into drive. Okay. And then it just goes. And here you have your windows. Okay. And your mirror. Okay. So how he heard about me? Someone told him. So how he about he know about me? <laughs> so, someone someone told Secret Santa all about you, and he said she definitely deserves this. And that's what everybody else has told us. Oh, so this come from you as well? Well, I just work for the news and yeah. Secret Santa asked if I could bring this to you. Oh. Thank you so much for, for, for this present for whoever provides. I am very, very appreciated for your concern for our family and very appreciated for all you do for our family. Thank you.